When a patient suffers cardiac arrest, they stop breathing, their pulse stops. Paramedics arrive on scene and attempt CPR and defibrillation or administration of a shock and then they bring the patient to the emergency department for further resuscitation and care. The ACCESS trial is a large national multi-center clinical trial and the University of Utah is an enrollment site for this trial. The ACCESS trial will establish the best treatment strategy for patients following cardiac arrest. And there are a couple of competing standards of care nationally and throughout the world for patients once they arrive at the emergency department after cardiac arrest. The first one is to treat the cardiac arrest like a heart attack. Now, a lot of people call cardiac arrest a heart attack, but not all cardiac arrests are heart attacks. In cases of uh, resuscitation from cardiac arrest, the first test we usually do is an electrocardiogram or a heart tracing. Now, if the heart tracing shows an obvious heart attack on it, that's easy. We send the patient immediately to the cardiac catheterization laboratory, also known as the cath lab. Their cardiologist will squirt some dye into the vessels of the heart, look for a blockage, and perform a procedure to open up a blocked coronary artery. If the EKG doesn't show a heart attack, in some cases patients are sent to the ICU for further testing to figure out what was the cause of their arrest and for further stabilization. And in other cases, patients are sent directly to the cath lab to be treated as if it is a heart attack. So the ACCESS trial randomizes this, these two competing standards of care to determine which one is the best, going directly to the cath lab from the emergency department or to the ICU first for further testing and stabilization. This trial randomizes the first step in what is a continuing process of care. It doesn't dictate how the patient will be treated once they are admitted to either the ICU or the cath lab. So in some cases, patients may be randomized to be admitted to the ICU, and their clinicians may determine at some time later it's important for this patient to go to the cath lab, and that is allowed during, in the trial. Additionally, patients who go to the cath lab may be admitted directly to the ICU afterwards. So this really just randomizes that first step in care, and none of the other areas of care will be dictated by the trial.